Portland Native American-owned coffee shop targeted by vandals after the owner planned to host a cop and community event. This crime also caught on camera. Let's get to our Joelle Jones. She's live now after speaking with the owner of that cafe. And Joelle, what can you tell us about this? Well, Liz, Jeff, you can still see the tape and boarded windows here at the Bison Coffee House. That owner tells us this is the work of six vandals who came and busted in her windows and literally spray painted her business early this morning. And while police are still investigating the motive, she says she thinks she knows why this happened. This security video captures the moment a group of six vandals smashed in the windows of the Bison Coffee House just before three this morning. Watch as the group uses what appears to be an extinguisher hose to spray paint throughout the Coley Neighborhood Cafe. Owner Loretta Guzman tells us after getting the call, this is what she walked into. Broken glass and paint all the way to the back of the shop. And while it may seem like a random act of vandalism, she believes she was targeted. They tried to shut it down. That's how I felt. Somebody tried to. Guzman had planned to host Coffee with a Cop this Wednesday, a community event designed to create a dialogue between police and the public. Despite hosting the event without trouble in the past, Guzman says she received some mixed responses on social media, leading her to feel this incident was no coincidence. Mayor Ted Wheeler echoed those thoughts, tweeting out in part this afternoon, quote, this destruction happened on the eve of Bison Coffee House hosting an event to bring the community and police together. Upon arrest, I will advocate for the prosecution to the fullest extent of the law, including potential federal hate crimes, end quote. But Guzman, her friends, customers, and even police were not about to let the vandals paint on their parade. It was so overwhelming, like, oh my God, where do I start? But when I came back, there was like Little League customers standing out in front, and my friends came in, you know, and they were like, okay, they just like buckets, water, rags, and everybody just started getting busy. With the support of her community, Guzman was able to clean up the shop and host the event with an even larger turnout than expected. And when asked what she would say to those responsible, we still did it. Why didn't they come when the you know, everybody was here. If they had an issue, if they had a real issue, you know, they should have came and discussed it with any one of the people that were here. There was so many people here who would have loved to talk to them. Well, Guzman says she is incredibly grateful for her community support. And now a GoFundMe has been set up to help pay for any damages and repairs. We have that information linked out for you at coin.com. But with no arrests made yet, police are still asking the public for help with any information about this incident. Reporting live in Northeast Portland tonight, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin 6 News. Jo